I would like to introduce now to the next speaker, um, Mr. Amit Mishra. He has earned uh, a Master in Health Administration in the Tata Institute of Social Sciences and is currently working in the area of health information systems in the National Health System Resource Center in New Delhi. And his presentation will be on the determinants of health management information performance, lessons from district health management information system assessments. You have 10 minutes. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, my this presentation is uh, based on district level HMIS assessment which was done last year, 2011. And it was done basically to uh, identify the overall status of the HMIS, identify issues and uh, sort of look for course corrections. So before going into the details of the study, I would uh, basically uh, like to briefly introduce the, uh, what was the health information architecture in 2005 and how the HMIS under NHM has developed. Uh, in 2005, uh, each program, uh, each uh, uh, public health program had their own reporting systems uh, which was paper based. And at that time the data was collected from the facilities which was compiled at the uh, district level and block level and was sent to the state and center level for final report generation. This is information system uh, has inbuilt design issues and uh, they were collecting too many data elements without any link for the data analysis and use of information. There were multiple systems with high degree of duplication and gaps in the data. So a similar set of data elements you will find in one form, you will also find uh, those data elements in all other forms. But some of the key quality data elements will not be available in any of the forms. And there was no integration of the reporting systems. Under NRHM, HMIS has been reformed with an idea of uh, eliminating these design ambiguities and sort of to use uh, HMIS as a tool for decentralized uh, planning and management. A set of uh, 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 reporting forms uh, were created for each level of facilities uh, for sub-center PHC and CHCs. With this, the information flow and then uh, data collection reporting processes were also standardized. Guidelines have been issued uh, for this. In addition, national web portal was created at the center uh, as a repository of uh, district and state data. And for intra-district uh, data entry and analysis, state-specific systems were put in place. Comprehensive training programs were also developed and implemented in the course of implementation. Uh, the objective of this study were basically to look at the determinants of data quality and use of information. We sampled 35 districts in 18 states and uh, covered almost 10 facilities in each district, uh, covering all level of public health facilities. Uh, we interviewed uh, different level of users of HMIS in the uh, district health system, uh, used semi-structure questionnaire for that. And in addition, we also uh, sort of assess the district and block records and observe the uh, data collection and reporting process. These were the districts. We found that uh, during the study period, 100% facilities have reported their data to their respective reporting units without any delay. And 23% uh, of the districts have made institutional arrangements for data reporting from the private uh, hospitals uh, by means of guidelines, orders, letters, something. But the coverage of uh, data reporting from the private sector is uh, basically not known. Uh, during the HMIS reform, it, has been, it was decided that all other reports uh, will be uh, removed from the system and only the HMIS report will be used as a data source within the district. However, in our study, we found that 77% of the districts were using pre-existing RCH reports and out of which 46% uh, percent of the report had conflicting data collection uh, processes with the HMIS having some source. Meaning the uh, uh, source of the HMIS report and the parallel report, RC, parallel RCH report is sub-center uh, registers. But in the uh, parallel report, uh, you require to report data based on area-wise. Uh, so ANM will report data of the services that she has delivered and also the services which are being received by the beneficiaries in her area. However, the HMIS norm follows the uh, uh, reporting of the services which are only provided by the ANM. If you look at the reporting norms, 20% of the districts have followed the HMIS reporting norm diligently during the study period. However, in 80% of the district, either the area reporting was done in the entire system or for some of the data elements, area reporting was done. And the reasons for the reporting were too many. Some, in some of the districts, there was a norm to report the area-based data. For example, in Uttar Pradesh, where whole of the reporting is area-based. In some of the facilities, uh, some of the districts, uh, uh, they have to show higher achievements against the target, so they are uh, reporting area-wise for some of the data elements. And in some of the places, the HMS user were not aware about the 
reporting requirements. I mean, they were not trained adequately. If you look at the institutional arrangements, we have identified that 20% of the districts have established error management protocols, meaning they have identified uh, and decided on guidelines uh, through government orders that what you should do when you encounter data entry error, uh, bulk reporting, incomplete reporting, non-reporting. And almost 94% of the districts have authorized a person who will be responsible for data reporting from the facilities. Uh, from the sub-center, from the PHCs, from the block, and from the districts. However, only 48% of the uh, districts have identified person who will be responsible for data reporting from the uh, district hospitals and CHCs. And this has been a major problem because bulk of the data is being reported from the, it should be reported from the PHCs, uh, CHCs and the hospitals because there is no person assigned and it, it has been a problem to collect data from different departments and report into the HMIS. So most of the critical data elements are not being reported from the uh, district hospitals. 18% of the district constituted HMIS team to review data to identify training needs to support into the capacity building. Trainings have been a major issue uh, uh, identified in the studies and we identified that uh, in last five years, uh, however, 88% of the districts trained ANMs uh, uh, once 100% of the districts have trained data entry operators and these are the guys who receive most of the refresher trainings also. If you, uh, uh, if you aggregate all of the users of HMIS in the district, we identified that uh, in 29% of the districts only, all users of HMIS have been trained at least once in the last five years. And hardly 6% of the program managers were uh, trained on the use of information competency in the last five years. Uh, in trainings, uh, we have identified that uh, states have partnered with different training institutions who had uh, their own training plans, used training, uh, their own training materials and tools which had no similarity. We have identified variations in the number of days of training given to the different level of users. So uh, uh, in the training material, we have uh, defined the number of days of training for a particular level of user uh, with a particular competency. We have seen a variation that uh, one day has been given dedicated to the NM for the training and one day is also given for rest of the whole of the staff for the HMIS training, which is not the case. We have identified that four days of training is required for the program manager to, uh, to uh, get certified into the HMIS competency, which includes data definition, indicators, data quality, and use of information. There was lack of training need assessment and poor selection of trainees. Uh, instances of similar people being trained repeatedly on uh, similar competencies, however, uh, the other people who required the training were being left out uh, in the whole of the program. And the training database was uh, basically not maintained at all in the districts. We also identified that trainings were concentrated at the district and state level. So uh, all of the uh, uh, HMIS manager were called to the state capital uh, headquarter for the training. In one day, they will be trained on all, the, all of the competencies. And they will be asked to carry out these similar trainings in the districts. Refresher trainings were only provided for software update and resource material was not uh, available into the local language. In the data processing, we identified 65% of the districts use National HMIS web portal as a source to process their district and state data. However, out of uh, these 65, 87% of the district level users have to uh, make their manually make their reports uh, for different program needs. So family planning uh, program requires a different reports on monthly and quarterly basis, but because your software is not being able to provide, then you have to do it manually. In the 35% uh, of the districts were using state specific application to analyze their district block and facility data, and out of which 23% have to manually make their report, which means that state ap um, specific applications have been more helpful to the users. During our study, we identified that 100% of the districts received some form of feedback uh, from the states. 46% have started giving feedback to block on monthly basis, and only 11% uh, districts have started giving feedback to blocks on indicator base, indicator base, which was very less. High degree of mismatch has been identified uh, between HMIS form and the registers used, used at facilities. 70, in 77% of the district, facility registers were not compatible with the HMIS forms. Uh, the, uh, the most of the problem was with the district hospitals and the CHCs, uh, where hospitals used handmade registers and did either the data element was not available in that uh, uh, register or it was difficult to compute. Uh, we also identified that because there is, uh, there is no person identified in the district hospital to collect and report data, 
district program managers or district hospital managers were unaware about the HMIS data requirements. The study has helped in establishing the fact that HMIS data quality uh, gets affected at each level of uh, operational design constant in work organization uh, from collection, processing, reporting, analysis, and use. And inadequate human resource, lack of uh, capacity building, lack of institutional support, uh, sort of uh, impedes uh, or affects the use of information, which is further compounded by softwares which are actually not user friendly. We see this, this is uh, this uh, to improve the data quality and use of information, a multi pronged approach and uh, sustained support is required. And I conclude my presentation by putting forward some further questions which will help in generating the knowledge in this area. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Mr. Amit Mishra, I'm taking home um, messages that building, developing health management information systems is met with a lot of challenges. Quality of data and managerial use of data is maybe the main challenge that we have here.